So I'm about six sessions into the uh, Safe and Sound protocol. Um, I started about a week ago, and there are five modules uh, making five total hours, but your listening time um, it can be anywhere from a minute to 30 minutes to even an hour per day, depending on where you're at. Um, I've only been doing about 10 minutes, sometimes 30 minutes. Um, I'm going to back off a little bit um, with this session and actually probably do 10 to 20. Um, so if you haven't heard of the Safe and Sound Protocol, um, the idea is that our bodies, when they experience trauma, and we all have had some type of trauma, um, that they potentially can get stuck and they can get stuck in the state that they were in when the trauma occurred. Um, often that is either a fight or flight um, type uh, state or um, a disassociative, um, you know, where we disassociate um, state. Um, and our body can kind of go in between the two of those um, as its normal state as well. And I do believe that um, because of trauma, that my body has been doing that for a very long time. And so sound and music have always been really important to me in, in dealing with um, life in general, stress, trauma. Um, and it is sound and music have both been a huge part of this journey that I'm on to figure out, um, you know, how sound and music can make us feel better and maybe even heal us. So the safe and sound protocol is my next step in that. Um, and the way essentially it works is that, um, it is, and, and I don't really completely understand it, um, but it's based on the polyvagal theory, which gets into the whole vagus nerve, um, which also is something that's involved in, you know, our chanting and singing and, um, you know, the, uh, healing the vagus nerve. Um, those are some of the things you can do to do so. But essentially what happens is you listen to this music. It's all popular music. And there's certain frequencies that have been removed from it. Um, the, the, uh, the understanding I have of it is that essentially when you listen, what's happening is it is somehow um, affecting your parasympathetic um, system. And so it is supposed to be putting you into that more safe, uh, you know, state. Um, now, when you arouse that system, part of the problem can be that um, things can get worse before they get better. Um, it can overload, which is why I'm, you know, maybe going down a little bit tonight. Um, because some of the things I'm noticing is some of my, I haven't been feeling as well physically, um, mentally, there's been some things. So um, I'm not quite sure yet how it's affecting me. Um, but I do have high hopes for what this could do for me and um, it's something I want to share with my audience because the goal is for me to find some healing for myself and then to be able to help other people find that healing somehow. So um, I will see you on the other side of this. I'll provide some updates as I go through this. And just to give you some understanding and, you know, hopefully this may be something that other people can use as well. But um, I'm going to go listen and uh, I will update you soon.